Checking out Clifton Nurseries in the neighborhood of Little Venice and they even have a cafe here called Blossom and Jetsum. Super cute. Tonight's dinner venue. I've been wanting to try this Japanese restaurant for quite some time now, and we're finally in the hood today, so let's go! Decided to come out by myself for a stroll today and I'm trying to find my way to the Parliament Hill because they have really good views of the city from there but I'm not sure to be honest if I'm on the right track I literally don't know where I am I wanted to come out to bask in the warm weather and also to just get some nice crisp fresh air in my system <laughs> oh my gosh where am i going oh okay wait i think i have to cut through the front so that actually leads out of this weird pathway that i am on i literally walk all this way not knowing if it's gonna bring me on the right track feels like some kind of a shortcut because the last time I came with my friend we actually took a different route to get to Parliament Hill but okay enough of me rambling I just wanted to vlog this because number one I need some content for my videos <laughs> and number two I wanted to share the beautiful scenery with you guys at the same time I see more people up front and a really nice lake of sorts so i think i'm gonna pop over there to take a quick look this view is amazing i think parliament hill is just right up ahead so wish me luck I think that's Parliament Hill up front. 
it's starting to look really familiar because like I mentioned I was here with my friend the other time and for some reason we took a completely different route but we did end up at this spot to get up Parliament Hill oh wow be right back okay this is definitely the right way gotta climb up hill now I don't know about you guys but I really like climbing up hill more than going down hill just because I feel like it works my glutes a lot more and I'm all about building my glutes so that was quite a satisfactory climb we have reached the top of parliament hill and i'm gonna show you guys the view from here let me zoom in so you can catch more of the details i really like how there are benches here for you to just sit and chill and admire the scenery and it's just a view on one side you can catch a different view on the other side there are visibly less people on this side because I think they find this view a little too basic but I really like it as well there's a bench here so I think I'm gonna sit and chill for a little bit I think it's about time that I head home because I still need to cook dinner and before heading home I think I'm gonna stop by a bakery to get some pastries of some sort for my partner's breakfast tomorrow I'm gonna make my way back the same exact route that I took to get here just because it's simple for me I don't have to what my GPS and stuff like that because I'm not familiar with the other routes in Hampstead Hayes so I can just go back the exact same way that I came and since I've already showed you guys the views along the way I am gonna go enjoy some YouTube videos while I walk right now I'm watching Jennifer L. Scott She's an author and she also does her own running, YouTube so videos. Her content is always super interesting, at least to me. It touches on etiquette, homemaking, and the current video that I'm watching is one where she shares some homemaking tips and secrets that she discovers while reading old classic novels. So she has analyzed books like Little House on the Prairie, Little Women, and the current one that she's talking about is Anne of Green Gables. So she pulls out some of the old school traditional homemaking tips and tricks that were mentioned in these classics and shares them with her viewers on her YouTube channel, which I find super interesting. It's completely up my alley, so I'm gonna go watch that video while I make my way back to Hampstead Village. I have just come out of Hampstead Heath and now I'm almost back at the Hampstead Village area. I'm gonna go to this bakery called Ole and Steen. My partner really likes this stuff. So I think that's where I'm headed. I hope it's not closed yet. Fingers crossed. Secured the goods and now it's time to head home. I'm about to head out for an afternoon stroll but I just received my package from Harrods so I wanted to hop on here quickly to share with you the few products that I got. 
The first item is the Rodel Glass Primer. This is a face primer. You guys know I love Rodel's products in general. I have tried their bronzing glow drops, which I still use to this day. I mix it in with my foundation and it gives me a very nice glow. And the Rodel Banana Low Lighter is an absolute holy grail for me. I use it as an under eye concealer. I have it on a little bit right now. And I also use the glass powder, which really works if you want that nice blurring effect to minimize the look of big pores, which is something that I struggle with. That's why when I saw that they also have a glass primer, I wanted to give it a go. This is a really small 30 milliliter tube. It says that it's a sheer hydrating primer with a soft glow. That sounds very promising because aside from having a flawless look post makeup, I also want a little bit of that dewy, glowy complexion. So yeah, I'm excited to try this out. The next product that I got is a hand cream. This is from Tiffany & Co. And it's their Rose Gold Moisturizing Hand Cream. The box is really cute because it's really rose gold in colour. Let's see how it looks like on the inside. Oh, it's the classic Tiffany colour for the packaging. This is 75ml. It's a very nice, sweet perfume scent. And I really like to pick up smaller hand creams because it's easy to just chuck it in my purse and carry it around. The third product I'm gonna show you guys is the Orabe Run Through Detangling Primer. I have tried several products from Orabe's hair care line and I usually enjoy them. So I'm thinking I would like this as well. This is how the packaging looks like on the inside. It's not a very strong scent, but I feel like the mist comes out a little much. <laughs> I generally prefer a lighter mist effect. This is a lightweight conditioning detangler that primes hair for immediate glide through combing. I do go through heat protectants quite quickly, I feel like, because I have very long hair and I have very thick hair and I spam heat protectant every time I want to blow dry or curl my hair. The last product that I'm going to share with you is the Temple Spa Sugar Bath Smoothing Body Scrub. The box is so cute because there's a coat here. Your body is a living temple. Honor it, enjoy your life and live it to the full. Cute. This is a 185 grams tub. It says that it is a blend of olive and grapeseed oil, fig, pomegranate, vitamin E and a cocktail of essential oils such as lavender, patchouli, clove, eucalyptus and rosemary. This is how the body scrub looks like. I don't know about you guys but when I am looking for a body scrub, I like to go for one that is sugar based instead of salt based. I feel like salt based body scrubs can sometimes be a little bit too harsh for me and this happens to be a sugar based one that's why I picked it up okay that's everything from my Harrods haul there is this quaint little French restaurant in Hampstead that I have always wanted to try and now we are gonna give it a go today from my attire or should I say uniform you can tell that I have just done a stroll at Hampstead Heath. <laughs> it's one of my favourite activities now. Just had our dinner. And sadly, the place was quite mediocre. I don't think we would be back anytime soon, unfortunately. Mm. 
meeting my friend at the National Gallery. It's my first time here.